Why do you guys why. look so close? Like, why? Why, Mom? <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to our off-grid homestead in North Idaho. Fairly chilly day today. Not nearly as cold as it was the other day. And our snow is starting to melt away, unfortunately. I was hoping it was just going to pile up and stay here all winter but even though it's starting to melt away today and blue skies and rainbows we're supposed to get more snow tonight and tomorrow i'm hoping that's the case of course if we do i'll show you in this video but today we're going to be upstairs in the apartment working again some insulation some final buttoning up stuff so that we can start sheetrock here coming up real soon so what we're going to be doing today making sure that the vent pipe is all super secure so that when we close it up we don't have any problems also we're going to be insulating some of the interior walls we're going to be insulating this wall here between the bedrooms to keep bedroom noises you know quiet between the rooms also the bathroom wall right here we'll be insulating that wall we're going to insulate this wall as well to keep down some of those bathroom noises like the fan and mm, other things possibly is this a new helper hello guys wow stand up there you guys look a lot alike <laughs> Why do you guys why. look so close? Like, why? Why, Mom? <laughs> Sarah is with us here. She's on a short break from school. She's going to University in Tennessee. Not the University of Tennessee. No, it's not. It's Freed Hardeman University in Henderson, Tennessee. Yeah, so how's school been going this, uh, this semester for you? Yeah, it's going really great. I'm a sophomore, first semester of sophomore year. I'm majoring in Bible with admissions emphasis and interactive digital design which is kind of like a combination of graphic design and computer science. The things I'm supposed to be learning for, ma for my majors are really kicking in, and I feel like I'm learning a lot of the important stuff now. You're making websites, you're learning Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, all that kind of stuff, right? She's yep. learning all that kind of stuff to help us. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, then you got to come back and work for the family business. Sounds good. But you're not only doing, like just academic stuff there right what else you've been yeah. involved in one of the cool things i've got to be part of at free hardeman is going on disaster relief trips with the church of christ disaster response team drt i went to john lafitte louisiana there's just a lot of uh water damage a lot of mud this water has just been standing for months my friend and i we tried to drain a room by sweeping the water into a trash can or into a trash bag <laughs> and then draining it out and that worked pretty well we helped with you know cleaning out people's belongings that have been damaged tearing down walls just the opposite yeah the opposite of what we do here, here. <laughs> exactly that is sweet sarah it's good to have you home if you guys don't know sarah you could go back and watch some of our previous videos you can see her when she's like knee high to a grasshopper if you go back far enough but we're gonna go ahead and get started on the non-tearing down part but the building up part right <laughs> this stuff right here is what we're going to be using for the interior walls on the apartment marty just explained that all to you but this is something this is a type of insulation that we've never used before and you guys i tried to find tutorials online on youtube on how to install it like around pipes because we have to do in you know around the water pipes in the bathroom and the laundry room and i found nothing nothing specific so you guys need to make a video for me <laughs> but we have like a whole pallet full of this stuff and anyways it should be fun Maybe you're too serious. You're growing up and you also let's see it. if we can get this one it might not be as this heavy is this the one we want yeah oh, okay Look at you go. Just, uh, try not to die. Okay, try not to die, cause it's icy. Hey, Sarah. Yeah. You think it'd be good if we had railings on the stair? It might be slightly safer. <laughs> so saith the viewer. These are a lot wider than the those fiberglass. Yeah. Insulation. How come I'm not helping you? Well, somebody's got to be the cameraman. <laughs> okay, don't die, Julie. I'm also not helping because this is their job. I got a different job to do. Just pull it, huh? I think I might just pull it. They're pretty icy. See? Icy. Well, they made it just fine, guys. No problemo. I do hope that we get that extra snow tonight. I think it said one to three inches tonight, and then another inch tomorrow morning. I'm so it wasn't bad, huh? I'm out of breath. I'm hungry. So, I think maybe we should start over here with like an easy wall like this one <laughs> because there's nothing here. There's no wires, there's no outlets, the boxes I mean. Also, there's no plumbing. <laughs> so this one, we should be able to do pretty flawlessly. Oh, 
There is a little wire in that one. But it that doesn't matter. matter. It's a tiny, tiny wire. I think we could get like the hang of it if we start with that. What do you think, Marty? Yeah, do it. Okay. I think this might not be that hard. Like we could just place the one up against this side uh -huh. and then trace it, trace it out with a pencil and then just cut it. And then it'll be two pieces where it's easy. I think it's a possibility. <laughs> The way I do it is just start without a plan. <laughs> and then you can do it twice. Dude, show people that. That was cool. <laughs> Whoa. Dude, so cool. Where'd you get you such skills? skills. <laughs> Guys like girls with skills. Particular knife opening skills, apparently. <laughs> That's right. Knife opening skills. Oh, Nunchuck yeah. skills. Computer, computer hacking, hacking skills. skills. <laughs> What's that off of, guys? All right, here they go. Same. Open that bad boy up. Oh, this is cool stuff. This is weird. Okay. So these are what, like four feet? The length is 47 inches. A Sharpie might work well on this. Sharpie? Yeah. So this is one piece of it. But wow, this is going to be fragile. I did watch online and they said to go for half an inch bigger than your bay. Should stay, right? Yeah, should. This isn't the bay I said we were going to start with. <laughs> Probably going to need a ladder. Yeah, they also said you might need a mask. <laughs> yeah, for sure gloves. Maybe eyewear. Eyewear? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> there you go, man. Pretty good. Yeah, keep going. Rock it out. Day one. Beautiful. Done. Film me just in case you fall. Careful, Mom. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. It's slippery. Don't die. <laughs> you're such a stinker. <laughs> you're definitely your dad's daughter. <laughs> you have his same sense of humor. Yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> I talk to you. Are you warm and toasty by the fire? Are you warm and toasty? Coffee time? Yes, we've come inside. Get a very important elixir. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Dude, this this pot's dirty. Don't talk about our dirty stuff. <laughs> what happened to it though? <laughs> we use it. <laughs> what are you doing, Sarah? <laughs> Stay warm. <laughs> Why is your shirt tucked in? <laughs> Back at school, girls would tuck their shirts in for style. Here, I tuck my shirt in to stay warm. <laughs> Hi. Hey, pal. You have a weird daughter. I know. <laughs> it is cold though, man. See, it's it so much colder Seriously. today, bro. Temperature wise, it doesn't say it's colder, but it feels colder. Oh, Tux, you're on me. Look at all these guys enjoying the sunshine. You're just scaring them. Scaring them away. Little booger. Nah, yuck. Tux, no, yucky. No, no, no. Tux, stop eating it. <laughs> no. You're gonna throw up. He's like looking for dessert now. Dude, mom, that's disgusting. <laughs> that was so gross. He's a gross dog sometimes. <laughs> well, that's true. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Just putting on, um, putting this screen right here on the end of the intake for the furnace. So it goes right on here. This is the intake for the furnace. We're just gonna tape it on there because we have this tape laying around. All right, so we got the vent pipe here all secured. We've got the vent for the hot water heater all secured. <sighs> what else? Other little tiny things that need to be done here before we sheetrock. I don't know, I'm gonna go look around and figure something out. So this is the wall that we're considering doing next, but it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> because it has all this plumbing in it. So we're trying to see if we could maybe just push it up against here and like have enough space because these are two by six walls or like for like this one, there's not much space here. We're gonna probably have to cut around this. I think that'll probably work. This blue is definitely gonna make it kind of complicated for the bottom section, but for the top, I don't think it'll be too hard. We have a potential problem that we need to check out. We need a small piece, like this one. So we're gonna use this to see if our experiment's working or not. Let's just see if this lies flat or not. We're gonna pretend that this is our sheet rock. I think it's fine. Why do you wanna see? Yeah, it looks good. My concern was the pipe that's behind here was pushing it out, but I don't think it does. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. <laughs> That is not okay. 
<laughs> we could do exactly what you did over here on this uh -huh. one. So we could just like cut the sides and then just take out the middle piece and it should stick fine in between. It's like to create like a little so relief it's, ooh, mark. So it's like two yeah. bays. We could think of it as being two bays. Okay. Just like, and this is a stud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. Or you could take your pencil, I think, and mark it down both sides like this and then just pick some of that out so that it still has some sound insulating behind the pipe. Mm -hmm. But it won't push out the sheetrock on the other side. Is that what you want to do? No, no, that's what I want you to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds great. Maybe about this much, I think. Yeah. Like that thick. I do have a little concern because this stuff is already so fragile. And we're taking off like half of it. And so my concern is that it might make it even more fragile. Oh, yeah. That looks good, man. Yeah? Yeah, it's like a channel dug out of there. So you want to help on the inside? Yeah. We'll see how it goes on this side. Help me fit her in. Yeah, that actually works. That works. looks good, yeah. So. Let's give it the board test. There's more room for it to squish in. Oh, yeah. It's way better. Way better. This is just a bunch of extra ductwork that we have. So we're going to go ahead and strip the outside layer off of it here. And use it as extra insulation for around some of these ductwork fittings where there's no insulation that's going to be in an unconditioned space like up in the attic so we're going to strip this off and pull out this insulation right here to wrap around them and keep them nicely insulated see now we just have this inside of it you can take it right out pull out of there Nope. You can try that. This looks lame-o. What is? <sighs> insulation. Who likes working with insulation? <laughs> I'm glad that's your guys' job, not mine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Hello? How much do you like working with insulation, Sarah? Um, this stuff looks really cool, though. It's kind of neat. It cuts like butter, which that's like the most fun part. Cuts like butter. My chin itches, yeah. so that's okay. I think this stuff's oh. way better than the regular carpet like, gloss. Handing it to you. <laughs> Check put it, a guys. Glove on. <laughs> Short, you know, long enough for Thank the. You. For yep. the... Yep. So for these ones, Dad was saying we could just measure to the longest. Instead mm -hmm. of having to cut them at an angle, and that would make it a lot easier. I just measure up to the top of the two by four there. Okay. Just down there to the bottom, and, and cut it off at that. Unless you got a pipe or something in your way that you're gonna. And have to then deal the rest with. will stick up. Yeah, it'll just stick okay. up. Mm -hmm. That should work. Okay. 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 Both feet like that. Dude, you're snowboarding. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to stand on a snowboard like that, though. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, oh dear. <laughs> I think our knife is getting dull. Voila. <laughs> These are the last couple pieces for this wall here, huh? Yeah. I'm not sure, but I think that I like this insulation less than the other stuff, the fiberglass pink stuff. I don't know, it just seems like there's more insulation in the air. I like, my skin is getting more agitated. But what about you, Sarah, you think? I kind of think so too. Honestly, I wasn't really bothered by the pink stuff that much, yeah. but this is kind of getting on my face and it's a little- It's like pokey. Agitating. Yeah. <laughs> Push hard. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Good job, Dan. Well, thank you. <laughs> We have made some serious progress, man. Look at that. It's basically taken all of the echo out of here as well. Of course, that's going to totally change once we sheetrock it. It'll be all echoey again. Bam, look at that, man. Those girls did an excellent job. Over here. Oh, yeah. And look at that. Doesn't that look cool? Focus our eyes on
woke up this morning to snow and it is so beautiful you guys I love waking up and looking out through the windows and having the snow falling and this is actually our second big storm of the season yeah and we noticed last time that there are some branches that actually hang over the road and so your cars like hit them as you're going out <laughs> so today with the snow here what we want to do is go out, find those branches, and get them cut down. Oh, there's deer up Ooh, there. Oh, wow. This right here is the first tree that we're going to be trimming today. Uh, we're using our pole saw we bought a while ago. The problem with this pole saw is though, this right here, right? A lot of you guys probably have corded pole saws or chainsaws or other tools that require you to plug them in to actually use them. And you don't want to invest in a battery operated single purpose tool. Well, today we're going to show you how you can operate these types of tools out in the woods where there's no power available. And that is with one of these bad boys right here. This is the EcoFlow right here. We're gonna be using it today, hopefully, to trim up these limbs. It is a cold one today. My hands are starting to get fairly chilly. I forgot my gloves out there. You wanna use my um, hand warmer? Um, <laughs> no, they're all wet. We're just gonna have to wait on that. Hand warmers are awesome. <laughs> See this right here? This is my favorite way to wrap up an extension cord because you can just pull out however much you need, right? If you only need six feet of extension cord, you got six feet right here and it never gets tangled. It's just super simple, super clean. That is slick. And the rest stays together like that. I think we're gonna probably need about that much, but if we need more, we can always get it, right? Plug this guy in. Oh, let's make sure it works here first. It'd be a bummer if the thing didn't work, wouldn't it? All right, man, it works. Let's start cutting some limbs. Let's take a look at our next spot here. We got this tree which really kind of hangs into the road and we really do hit it when we drive by. This guy right here, it's a cedar tree. We're gonna trim him up and then we'll be done trimming. We've been using these EcoFlow generators here for i would guess a year now probably we use it for a lot of different things but one of the things that we really like about it even though we have our our full solar off-grid system it's like a backup we run our internet and our security system off of this so no matter what happens to our solar system say like somebody tried to come and steal it this runs independently of that to keep our homestead secure. We're at 99%, right, battery? So we're at zero output right now. Okay, go ahead. What'd it do? So it was like between like five, 90, 6, 20. Watts. Watts, and then right here, it tells the hours. So is that how many hours at like That's that? How many, yeah, how many hours you have left running at what it's running. So we could have run it for two hours. <laughs> two hours straight at that, okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. We don't have that many limbs to do today though. No, but you can recharge it from the car. It has like a cigarette lighter adapter. You can charge it in the car while you're driving or just you know running the engine. You can also charge it off of like AC if you're on grid or you want to plug it into your big off grid system and charge it that way. That's cool. There's also solar panels you can use to charge it. So, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. Which that's what we use in the house. Yeah. We, we use, use the solar, solar panels. panels. We got them outside and we just let it just charge whenever the sun's out. It might be something that you want to check out. There's links down in the description below if you want to check out EcoFlow and all of the different, I like to call them solar generators, <laughs> even though a lot of you guys hate that word. They're all down in the description below. Check them out. They're pretty cool. And there's lots of sales going on right now. Oh yeah, I forgot well, all about that. I mean, obviously, as you would expect, this time of year to have sales. If you've been deliberating over buying one, now might be the time. Yeah, for sure. What's next? Insulation, I guess. Oh, goody. <laughs> These are the panels. They've got a bundle going on right now. With the uh, solar generator, you get two panels with it. Might as well show you what the panels look like. Since we're here and we got them. It comes in a travel pack kind of thing. So if you're overlanding or 
whatever it is you like to do in the outdoors where you need portable panels. These are the portable panels. Wow. These are your connections right here, standard MC4 connectors. And then you can put it up there. It's got these eyelets here so you can actually hang it, which is what we're gonna be doing with them on the side of the house and testing out these new ones that they sent us instead of the older ones. Test out the new ones, see how well they work. Under full-time use, right? We're just gonna hang them up there and let them sit as a standard mounted solar panel. You can also use your regular solar panels as well with this because it has the standard MC4 connectors. Just make sure you don't like overload the specs, right? Check out the link in the description below. You can read all of the specs. You can see everything and learn everything you wanna know about it. But these are pretty cool looking panels. They look pretty durable. Check it out. It is holding up just fine. Not a whole lot of snow on there, but let's go in here. Jules is in here looking for something in our pile of goodies. So last winter, we used a little aquarium um, like fish tank heater for our chicken water and it works super good to keep it from freezing. But the problem is I don't know where we put it. Yeah, those things were good. It's like 15 watts and keeps the water from freezing. Look at how we fix this thing. On an earlier video, we fell a tree right on this shelter logic here. And we put this two by four, notched it up there and secured it with some plumber's tape. And it's holding it up just fine. When we don't have a ton of snow on here now, maybe just be a little bit more diligent this year, cleaning it off than we were last year. Look what I found. Wow, do we need that? Yeah, this is good for um, scraping the ice off your windshield. Ooh, that would be good. I need that. That's Dude. much better than a credit card. That sure does, man. That's cool. <laughs> we also have this. Shower head. Nice. Why did we keep this? I don't know. Ooh, look what I found. This is what you're looking for, isn't it? Yep. For my Dude, boots. I'm the best wife ever. Thank you. <laughs> what you doing down there, dude? Good. Snow off. Well, it wasn't frozen. That's a good idea. I think fixing our roof design will be a project for another year, don't you think? Yeah, for sure. Like next summer, maybe? Oh, maybe the summer after that. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of snow shoveling. <laughs> Did you show them all the um, snow on the deck? No, not yet. It looks so pretty. We do have all of this right here we're going to have to take care of. But look at the deck, man. Oh, such a nice view. found out the hard way you want to use a snow shovel that does not have a metal edge to it this one's just plastic i used a metal edged one the first time and we did put some scratches in the deck so plastic only from now on sarah's not out here with us today she is inside the house working on college university stuff she's got like a website to redesign a paper to write all kinds of stuff the life of a college student jules but look who is here <laughs> seth is here yep Jules, you got started, man, and you didn't even tell me you were starting. This is honestly one job that I really dislike, and so the quicker we can get through it, the better. <laughs> That's looking great, Jules. Thanks. Can you hand me like a little piece down there? I have a little gap up here. Yeah. There you go. Right here. That's so uh, none of the tutors can be heard coming out <laughs> through that little tiny hole there. Yeah, we don't want no tutors coming through. <laughs> you want it on you want that side. That side? Yeah. Okay. Right. For some reason, I made this bigger. I don't know why, but it's bigger than normal for some reason. Oh, and I found, look at this, another spot where we need to add some uh, oh, blocking, blocking for the sheetrock. Yep. On this side over here, too. It's getting so quiet in here, like no echo. The acoustics are awesome. Wouldn't it be cool if we could like always leave your house with acoustics like this? I would rather not live in insulation. <laughs> I know, but still, you know, it's just really cool. Well, we're almost done. Now. How about that? Do <laughs> you love insulation? No. <laughs> <laughs> Very much not. So for headers like this, we're actually just playing on stuffing this pink fiberglass stuff down into the header and then insulating it like that instead of spray foaming it. Just simpler. <laughs> He's like scared of it. What is it? Go see. Go get it. Marty, what are you doing? I'm making little dog poo piles. Dog poo piles? <laughs> Why? Because um, <laughs> there's just a little bit left in the can and we don't really have anywhere to put it, so. <laughs> Why not? Come on. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. You filming? <laughs> okay. We have decided. He keeps wanting to get so you much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
So much input from you guys said do the everyday thing. 15 to 20 minutes is what we're going to shoot for. And we're going to try to do every day in December. Jules wants to add a little something something to it. I'm not too sure about it. <laughs> Tell them what you want to add. That's already a big challenge. But I think we should have like some sort of a countdown or count up. So every day we do something and also encourage you guys to do something for the whole month. We're gonna have a little challenge in there for you guys. Oh, and another thing I wanted to add in there. During this series, we wanna answer your like important questions. And so if you have questions for us, they could be about anything, put them down in the comments below on this video and then every day in December, and we'll pick out a question. Hopefully it's a question that's been asked a lot and we will answer those questions sometime within that video for you guys. We'll give you a little shout out and all that kind of fun stuff Ooh, to go along with it, shout okay? Out. <laughs> Yeah, you know, be cool. <laughs> That's it, you guys, for today. We will see you back here on Wednesday, December 1st. In the meantime, we picked out this video for you right here for you to watch. That's right. You guys have a great day. Keep smiling.